All right. Good evening, students from intermediate level. What's going on? Welcome to the last and final session. Exposition ready, time, huh? Expositions. Are we ready for your expositions? Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello students. Me ayer, profe. Hey, what's up, Francisco? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me, Francisco? I am fine. Um, I am speak um, in the project final. I am finished. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So I you organize the, you organize the um. Porque no me reconoce esto. Permítanme. No problem. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Qué gran clase vamos a tener, solo somos seis, digo siete. <laughs> it's early, man, it's early. Give me one second, guys, I'm having a problem. Give me one moment, Okay, please. no problem, teacher. All right, I am back. I am back. Hello, everyone. I hope you are ready for your expositions. Today is the final day of classes. How do you feel tonight? Hello. Where are my students? Todos tenemos miedo, teacher. Esperes. <laughs> Where are my students? Talk to me. Why? Why are you scared? You don't have to uh, be scared. Come for on. time, teacher. Huh? For time. For the time. First, uh, uh, um, uh, for time. <laughs> Hello, Naomi. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. I'm happy. Finish. Happy. Finish uh, all week. You finish the week. Finish the week. And you finish the English module tonight. Yes. You are going to be. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Francisco is like, mm, I don't like. Advice. <laughs> huh? I don't like the final days. Uh, it's been a very interesting experience to be your teacher during this module. I really had had a lot of fun with you guys. Francisco is a very funny student. Yes. Naomi, Oscar, Marlon, Thanks. Edis, Michelle, Ingrid, everybody is, is very special. I hope you guys 
continue learning the language and um, finally you could become you know into an individual that is bilingual someone who can uh, express you know his or her ideas fluently and naturally this is a very special day we have the expositions are you ready for the expositions did you get organized with your teammates yes or no did you prepare so so, teacher. <laughs> so so okay did you prepare a presentation or or just a speaking just a speaking no problem no problem that's what I, what is about that's my favorite part so with that being said we have let me just check here i'm going to verify the members of your of each team we're going to check let's see sometimes we need to wait for the other students you know most of them get late is the final day <laughs> so people get nervous are you nervous a little nervous all right i feel like no le escucho it. huh no le escuché se le trabó se trabó yes estamos ahí yeah i'm sorry no problem. Teacher. It's a crazy day today. You know, it's been rainy today at noon. That's crazy. How are you, Oscar? Are we ready, Michelle? Okay. Yes, Bye. we are. I can wait. I can wait. Hello, what about you, Vidal? Are you ready for your exposition, Mr. Mejia? No, teacher. No? You're not ready? Well, you can improvise. Improvise. You can improvise. You can do that. We have only three, six, nine. 12, 13 students. Shame on my students. They are absent. Most of them are absent. So congratulations to the responsible students that are here in the class honoring your scholarship. You don't have to be a coward. You have to be brave and produce, give results. Ok, apaguemos la tele ahí o oh, vamos a desconectar aquí ese audio. Ok, very good, very good, very good. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? A ver, ¿quién comienza? Francisco, ¿me dijiste que querías iniciar? No. Bueno. <risa> ah, ok, ok. No problem. Va de último um, entonces. Co eh, comparto pantalla, ¿no? Yes. All right, okay. that's the artitude. Okay. One moment, uh, there you go. That's the attitude. Who are who are the members of your team? Noemi Estrada, mm -hmm. Eduardo Ortiz, mm -hmm. Iris Hernandez, and Francisco Lemos. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm all ears. The microphone is yours. ¿Se está presentando, teacher? Yes, sir. Okay. I can see outbursts of frequency. Okay. ¿Cómo puedo ponerlo en modo...? Ahí a la copita de LB. Aquí abajo. <risa> abajo. Porque Aquí abajo no la copita. <risa> Ahí por... No, abajo, abajo. ¿Esta? Ahí, esa, esa, esa. No ¿Así? a la copita, Francisco, a la no, copita. No, la copa le Ahí, de Ahí dele. Ah, ok, ok. Okay. Magic. Good evening, classmates. We are group number one, and we will share with you about the adverse of frequency. Please pay attention. On this occasion, we will take about the adjectives 
definition, adverbs, and the position. Compañero. Frequency Ya la cambié. Vale. They are adverbs that serve to express the regularity with which an action occurs. A mí. Ok, Francis. si quiere que yo lo siga, la verdad. Siga. <laughs> ok, no problem. How are the frequency of verb using? Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. <clears throat> Formula, subject plus frequency adverbs plus verb plus complement. If affirmative sentence, frequency adverbs are a place placed after the subject and before to make verbs and the rest of the sentence. Example, we sometimes go into a uh, tree. Trintle. <laughs> Otherwise, go <laughs> to the theater. Children, sorry. Otherwise, go is glee on the oh, Sunday. Please, um, classmate uh, Iris, continue. Okay. Formula. Just said, close, doesn't, does not, doesn't not, close, frequently at bar. Plus verb plus complement. In negative sentences, we place the frequently adverbs between the auxiliary don't or doesn't, and they may bear. Example I don't often watch TV. He doesn't usually go shopping. Uh, el siguiente compañero. Hola, voy con Eduardo. Sí, ahorita. Eh, la siguiente fórmula sería do or does plus subject plus frequency adverb plus verb plus complement plus. No sé cómo se dice eso en interrogativo. En in the interrogative sentence, the frequency adverb will be placed between the subject and the main verb. Examples, do you always go to university a bus? Do you usually travel? Finish. Finish teacher. <laughs> All right, albers of frequency. Thank you for your attention. All right, I appreciate you had the exposition today. Um, you didn't have so much time to prepare, I know, but at least you defended your position. Congratulations. Thanks, teacher. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thanks. Teacher. Very were very hard teacher. I very know, teacher. I know, and, and I, I recognize that. <laughs> I truly recognize that. It is, I want to encourage you, Francisco, Naomi, and who was the other guy that was Marlon? Eduardo. Eduardo, Eduardo. I'm sorry. Eduardo, never, never give up of a studying. You have to continue moving forward. I know that it is difficult or, or you have more than one thing you need to work on. You have a lot of work to do. You have a lot of work to do. Están en la mitad del camino ahorita y halfway. So don't stop, continue studying English. Not only in Inglés Corporativo, you have to practice yourself. You have to study yourself every day. So congratulations for your effort. I really appreciate it, okay? Thank you. Okay, the chair Thanks. All right, next team, team number two.
Are we ready, team number two? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmates. Um, <laughs> sorry, but I'm just only speaking. And I think uh, it's just me because my partners and um, because my partners, I think, had problems with their jobs and their time. Mm -hmm. but it's only me. Sorry. Who are your partners? Um, Jose, Jennifer, and Dennis, I think. Mm, understood. Let's go, Ingrid. Okay. Uh, I will be talking about the topic using the simple past tense. We use the simple past tense to refer to actions or states that happening in the past and are finished and completely. For example, the sentence, Samantha played baseball, says that Samantha started and finished playing baseball. Sometime in the past, she isn't playing baseball right now. Remember, the simple past tense only refers to events that completely finish in the past. If a sentence refers to an event that continues into the present, it doesn't use the simple past tense. For example, the sentence, I have been cleaning my house for two hours, refers to an action that began in the past, but is still happening in the present. It's not simple past tense. Now, how to formulate the simple past tense? For regular verbs, add ed to the root form of the verb or just d if the root form already ends in an e. I put uh, the example in the chat. Let me, one moment, please. Okay. Now for irregular verbs, things get more complete, complicated. The simple past tense of some irregular verbs look exactly like the root form of the, or the base form. Let me see. For other irregular verbs, including the verb to be, the simple past forms are more erratic. And this is the example. And for, and for the pronouns am, is, are, uh, we use what, uh, was and where. How to make the simple past negative? There is a formula for making the simple past verb negative and is the same for both regular and irregular verbs, except for the verb to be. The formula is did not plus base form of verb. You can also use the contraction didn't. For the verb to be, you don't need the auxiliary did. When the subject of the sentence is singular, use was not or wasn't. When the subject is plural, use were not or weren't. The formula for asking a question in the simple past tense is did plus subject plus base form of pair. When asking a question with the verb to be, you don't need the auxiliary did. The formula is was or were plus subject. And I finish. Ending. Congratulations. Applauses for you. Give it up for you. I really like your presentation, your oral presentation, let's say. Thank you for your efforts. Yeah, thank you, T-shirt. No, thank you for being very responsible. I can see you're very focused towards your goals, towards, you, towards your targets. And I hope you never give up. I hope you continue because I can hear on your English level that you have a big future, Miss Ingrid. I hope you get to the get to the goal.
Already, let's go to the next team. Team number three, are we ready? Yes, teacher, good night. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guy. Um, my partner is uh, Salvador, Sandra, Vidal, and Dina. Uh, my topic future would be going to and will. You should be going to bear for plans you have decided on. You will uh, bear for possible plans before you have made a decision. Uh, its structure is subject, bear to be, must go to bear, must complement. Uh, and will, possible, must subject, must will, must bear, and complement. Next, Sandra. Good evening. Examples for going going to. I am going to cook spaghetti for dinner. And go with will, I will cook spaghetti for dinner. She is going going to play tennis. With you next to next, she will play tennis on uh, Sunday. Eh, la diferencia, uh, no sé si puedo hablar español, teacher. <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> la diferencia entre el going to y el will, como dijo ahí la compañera, que el, con el will transform, eh, convertimos el el verbo a futuro, ¿verdad? De una sola vez. Y el going to es como un auxiliar que nos pasa ya la información a futuro. Por eso, este, eh, cuando usamos el going to, vamos a usar el, el, to, el verbo to be antes del going to. Y luego el verbo es solo en presente. Eh, no sé si nos va a ayudar ahí Salvador y Vidal. Okay, good evening. Uh, I will give um, an example with positive and negative. And um, I'm going to work on Monday. Yeah, I'm in positive and negative. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Uh, Next, I go to the beach on the weekend, a positive and negative. I will not go to the beach in the rain camp. Uh, only. Salvador, no sé si nos puede ayudar. Eh, muy bien. Finish, teacher. Bernal. Sorry, teacher. I went to my zonas. En, bueno, recién llego. Eso quiero decir. Oh. No sabía que hoy eres la exposición. No problem. No problem, Salvador. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. No worries. No worries. Thank you then for your interaction, guys. Congratulations. I like when you put a little bit of effort. And when you put a lot of effort, I am the happiest teacher in the world. <laughs> so thank you for your performance. I like it very much. Um, 
me hubiera fascinado y me hubiera hecho el teacher más feliz del mundo si me lo hubiera dicho todo en inglés, pero no puedo quitarle méritos por el trabajo que hicieron. So, eh, vamos la mía extra siempre, busquemos ir la mía extra, the extra mile, you have to go the extra mile and, and try, to, try to exceed Not be okay, but exceed expectations. Ustedes quieren ponerme una cara de wow, okay? In future expositions. But congratulations, applauses for you. Applauses, applauses, applauses. Keep studying English. This is the way for you to make money. This is the way for you to give your family a different, a higher quality of life. You deserve to have a well-paid job, $600, $700, $800, $900. You can make that money just by being bilingual. So this is the correct way to make money, guys. Keep fighting. Keep studying, okay? Let's go to the next team. That's team number four, if I'm not mistaken. Team number four. Good evening, teacher. Ooh, I love when you're ready. You ready? Yes. Let's go for it. Good evening, partners. We are team number four. We will talk about the topics past simple and the past perfect. The simple past, it is used for action complete in the past. In the past tense, there are both regular verbs and irregular verbs. Grammatical rules. To form the past simple of regular verbs, We add the ending ed to the verb. Example, want, wanted. Exception, for verbs that and e, we only need to add the example, change, chain. If the verb ends in a short vowel plus a consonant except, except y or w, we double the final consonant y. Uh, sorry, example. Stop, stop it. With the verb end in a consonant and Y becomes an I. Example, study, study. Note, the third most commonly used irregular verbs, which also are used as auxiliary verbs, is be, was, were, do, did, have, had. Structure, Affirmative sentence is subject plus princi principal verb plus complement. Example, they learned English and we believe it him. Next, Marlon. Hey, hello, good evening. Um, I will to tell to them the negative form of the past form of the, the negative form of the simple past a interrogative form and a WH question. The negative structure is composed of the subject uh, did not or didn't, a verb and object. An example, an, an, uh, example this form, uh, he did not wash the car or he didn't wash the car. Uh, something important about the negative form and W question is that the verb is not modify, modify, and remi remains in the infinitive form because the did means that the verb is not modifi modified. Uh, the interrogative form is, uh, is the subject, verb, and object. An example of this form is, did you listen, did you listen to music last night? Uh, if we observe, observe, observe the only thing that modif is modified in the negative sentence is the, that the did goes to the initial part of the sentences in the of the subject and the w question forms is is the the is w question did subject verb and object 
an example is this form is the where did you sleep the sleep last night and uh, thank you a continue my company thank you Jorge. 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 And perfect. So we know that you um, you should disconnect. You should disconnect your camera so your internet works better because you're breaking up. Try now. Okay. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that sounds better. I, okay, I'm going to explain the simple pass versus the present perfect. How we use it. We know that we use the simple past for complete events and as definite time in the past. All these events or all the phrases that we say, past and simple past. And we use present perfect for events with a time period to present. So the structure is have has plus subject plus ever, plus past participle, plus complement. So my partner, Oscar, and I have some examples for you. Oscar. Uh, the examples uh, get nervous. Uh, okay, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Uh, examples uh, is the question, Oscar. Have okay. you? Are you uh, broken in broken half the sound? The yeah. question is uh, have you ever okay have you ever appreciated a sunset? I don't know. Uh, we we will uh, present con a conversation. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I have appreciated last week. Where did you saw the sun? I you saw it. Sun? I saw it at the beach. Have you ever been playing soccer? Um, yes, I have played for three years. Did you still you play? No, we don't play anymore. Okay. Thanks, Oscar. That's the example when you use a, I'm sorry, when you use simple past versus present perfect. So now we have some questions for the other's partner and Andrea is going to start. Super. Uh, question number one, have you ever broken up with someone? Choose one person, Andrea. Uh-oh. Um, really? It is? Say, excuse me, it is? I think she's absent. Oh, oh, go ahead. Excuse me, what the question, teacher? Have you ever broken up with someone? Have you ever broken? Broken the quebrar, teacher? Have you ever broken up? Broken up. 
uh, broken up, broken up. Es como sí quebrar, pero en este caso es como terminar, like right? broken up with someone, like a relationship with with a boyfriend, for example. Ah uh, yes, teacher. Oh. I, I I have the the divorced uh, past year. <laughs> oh, you got divorced. Yeah, I can pass it. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Ah, what? Sorry, it's great. <laughs> okay. 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 Continue, please. Okay. Uh, continue for me. No, no, Marlon. Marlon is the next one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, for the teacher. Uh, teacher, uh, have you ever for me? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Uh -huh. Don't ask me about relationship, okay. please. Have you ever been in a reggaeton concert? Have you ever been in a reggaeton concert? Um, I have to say, yes, I have. Okay. I went to, I went to Wisin and Jandel's concert. That was like 10 or 12 years ago. In El Salvador nice. or, or yeah, in El Salvador they came to no. El Salvador. Yeah, maybe you were you were little kids. But that's what you oh, don't yeah. remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, okay. yeah. Yeah, because Thanks, it was teacher. like it was like ten years ago, right? When they were the bomb, and right now they are separated. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. Thanks, teacher, for the show, your participation. No, thank you for including me. That was very creative, guys. The next one is Oscar. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I have watched the, the movie. Rusty. I don't know. Have I, have I watched the movie? Please, please, please. He has she cooked food for Sole. He has she cooked for Sole. The, the question, Oscar, have you ever been arrested? I've never been arrested. <laughs> Shoes uh, someone. Shoes someone. Shoes someone. Except the teacher. Oh, have you ever been playing soccer? Wait, wait, wait. What is the question? Uh, have you ever played soccer or have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been playing soccer? Okay. Who's the victim, Oscar? Who is the victim? Who, who is Salvador? Um, Bernal. Choose a classmate, Francisco, Iris, Noemi, Jose, Salvador Vidal. Bernal, Salvador Bernal. Salvador? Okay. Yes. Okay, Mr. Salvador, they want to put you to work. Repeat the question, please, Oscar. Have you ever been playing soccer? Yes. Yes, I, I play soccer. Sometimes. Okay. Um, okay, and uh -huh. my question is for let me see Eliseo Flores. Have you ever been arrested? Okay, ask me. <laughs> Have you ever kissed somebody by mistake? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, to be honest, no. I, I am a, a, a humble person. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Humble is different than loyal. Yeah, <laughs> very different. No, but uh, no, I never have kissed uh, uh, someone for mistaking because I. Uh, when I met my partner, I asked her for permission 
to for permission to do so. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Thank you guys for your participation. That was the team number four. <laughs> you know what? That's that's the best uh, exposition in so long for me. I want to say a special congratulations for this team. I know it was a big challenge because from one day to the next day, uh, I'm sorry, I got confused. I thought that we had an extra class in on Monday, but we don't. We finished today. So you went ahead and planned everything up. I want to tell you that that was amazingly creative and participative. It was very fun. It was different. And I want to simply congratulate you because you also had Oscar over there. You know that Oscar has, uh, you know, different skills and you use good ways to make him participate, to include him uh, on the team, on the exposition, so he can uh, contribute with his uh, knowledge, right? And um, Michelle, that was very, um, how can I say, let me see. That was very clever. You were very clever on this exposition because you were exactly talking on the on the exact moment. You were helping Oscar when he was hesitating. Um, you sounded very professional, and I noticed a lot of leadership on you. So I'm very glad you are on the right path, and. Um, and you will be having fun definitely on the next classes because they are going to be more, more um, uh, complicated, let's say, as far as uh, going to the most difficult uh, phases of the English language. But you definitely have the talent to be successful. Everyone has it. Uh, you guys did great. Congratulations to each one of you. Thank you for making us participate. You made Iris participate. You made the teacher participate. Uh, so that was very, very clever. Congratulations. Applauses for them. Applauses, 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 applauses. Uh, thank you, <laughs> Good. Thank you, I am satisfied with your performance. Definitely. You exceeded my expectations. You definitely did. Okay, let's go with team number five. Do we have team number five? Well, hesitate is when you uh, panic, <laughs> when you don't sound confident, when you doubt. Yeah. Uh, do we have a team number five? No. Only four, teacher. Oh, yeah, that's right. Team number four. All right, all right. So that's that's it with the expositions. Congratulations to everyone. I'm very excited that you guys graduated. It, what about, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so I want you to know that you're doing a great job. I didn't hear some students like, um, Eliseo, who's your, who, who were you working with Eliseo Flores? No, uh, I didn't have in the class last night. You were absent last night. night. Yes. And I cannot revise it. I couldn't revise my cell phone because I wasn't working. And you and you sound sick. Are you okay? Yes, I am a little sick. Oh sir, I'm sorry I'm bothering you. Actually, you are sick and you're connected to the class. That's admirable. Um turn off your microphone, okay? I'm uh, just gonna have you there participate and listening. Uh, what about Jose uh, Enriquez? Do you owe us? Do you owe us or something, Jose? Hi, teacher. Do you Good feel evening. in debt? Kind of. <laughs> Actually, I've been waiting for work. something. Something from you. 
I was supposed to work with team number two, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I barely could talk with them. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't agree eh, no, eh, eh, anything with them. So okay. I'm sorry, teacher. Is there any... um? What is there any plan B that you have for us? Do you want to improvise? Is there something you want to talk about? Talk talk to us about from all the classes, from all the topics, from all the structures we have seen. Uh, Jose is one of the students who have been into it to the fullest. This guy has a great English level. Jose, why don't you tell us your tips? Why don't you share some of your tips that have worked for you that now have you here on this level where you can actually communicate so well? Well, something that has helped me a lot is to uh, translate music to Spanish. Uh, is that correct to say translate, teacher? Ah, okay. Wait. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I started translating uh, music that I like the most, and that helped me to understand the pronunciation of some words. After that, um, I began to, to watch TV series with subtitles and that helped me a lot because I could understand another word. Um, next to it, I, um, I pushed myself to go further and I start, started uh, to watch a TV series without subtitles and trying to understand as much as I could. And finally, um, listening to music without subtitles and without, trust, and without the lyrics and trying to understand everything I could. And those are my tips, teachers. All right. Thank you so much for sharing, Jose. Thank you. I, I tried to use, I tried to use uh, the sequence adverbs. <laughs> <laughs> See, at the end of the day, you comply. At the end of the day, you comply. I couldn't expect less. Uh, I don't know if what Jose told you sounds like helpful for you guys or if you are already doing something that Jose is doing as well or you say, uh, hey, I'm doing the same thing, Jose. You know, I have some friends that they didn't go to any academy, but they simply became bilingual by listening singing and translating English songs, you know? And what Jose said is, is correct. On a song in English, you're gonna find a lot of pronunciation. You will improve your pronunciation. You will increase your vocabulary. Um, you will perfection your intonation. So there's a lot of things to absorb from, from a song, okay? So guys, do it, do it. And this is our, our last class, I wanna tell you. So this is the moment we can, uh, we can use to talk about these things, right? I don't know if you wanna, if, if you have any doubt, like Iris may ask, uh, I have problems with these teacher, guys, I have problems with these. Uh, what is your recommendation, right? Um, 
what is a good recommendation to, to improve your retention? Because I forget, I forget the verbs. I forget the verbs in the past. I forget the verbs in the past participle. What is a solution for that? Someone has something to say? Teacher, something, something that has helped me a lot is that in my, my, in my mind, I used to translate the things that I'm doing, for example, when I'm in my office and I'm typing, I used to translate what I'm, what I'm typing. I am typing in Spanish, but I'm translating in English in my mind. And for example, I sometimes I found words that I don't know and I don't understand and I go to Google Translator and uh, I write I, I type the, the word mm -hmm. and they I then I'm I play the icon of the sound and Google tells me how that word should be pronounced mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's a, a, another tip that if you don't know what the word means, go mm -hmm. to Google Translator and it helps you. It will help you. It will help you a lot. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much. A ver, uh, Salvador Bernal, anything you have to share? Go ahead. I, I like this course. My personal plan is to review all the, the course. I really appreciate that you spoke to, to us in English. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you. Oh my goodness. It's, it's a pleasure, Salvador. It's a pleasure. I do it with all my love and all my passion. And um, I definitely believe that, I definitely believe that uh, you should review all the all the courses because you already have a lot of uh, knowledge uh, on you so you can definitely put everything in order put everything in order and you will be ready to go to advance i know that you can do it you have a lot of uh, capacity and potential also you're very responsible um, you are very consistent and 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 those are values that a student must have, right? Responsibility, consistency. It, it's a big process, guys. It's a big process. It's very long. It requires a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of work. Yes, it's not only about coming to class. It's about doing extra work, going the extra mile. Go ahead, Salvador. You can do it, my friend. Maybe I will see you in a higher level, maybe in advance later on. Huh? We're going to have fun. And guys, you have my contact. You can chat to me and you can ask me any question. I'm always your teacher. And um, this is the best thing of these programs because you can, you can expand your friends. You can make new friends. You can make new contacts. And you can meet new people and good people like you. Right, Salvador? You're a pastor, right? Yes. God bless you. Amen. Amen. May the Lord, may Amen. the Lord, may the Lord bless you, your family, and your church. Okay, let me go with Michelle Barrientos. Go ahead, Miss Michelle. What do you have to say? You can turn on your camera now, please. Okay. Hopefully okay. it works. Uh, <laughs> I just want to share with you a page that is better than Google Translate and helped me a lot. And it's this one. So I put in the chat. Okay. And okay, that's guys. <laughs> it's going to help all my classmates. And, and that's it. It's better than Google Translate. En español, eh, si usted no puede traducir y le cuesta, la página que les mandé es mejor que Google Translate y la usan incluso 
esta página pues hace hasta las conjugaciones, pero ustedes como ya sabemos, entonces ahí también podemos ver algún error en Google Translate, ya es como que lo tira como algo raro, entonces acá les va a ayudar un montón y pues van a aprender también, yo he aprendido también gracias a esta página y thank you teacher for your help and this was, a, you are a really good teacher, I mean I learned Yeah, I mean, I went another academies, but uh, <laughs> you are the best one. So no, you no, you, you tell that one to all to all teachers, perhaps, huh? <laughs> the teacher. No, I mean, <laughs> I, I saw that you really love your work, and and that's the thing because when someone loves the things that he do, you see the difference. So. Thank you for doing great with us. <laughs> wow, I feel like I feel my company. I mean, I feel this is better than than the salary. Sometimes English teachers don't make that much money, but the best pay, the best payment for us is to receive recognitions from our students. And that is priceless. Do you know what is priceless? Priceless. Do you know what is priceless? Invaluable. Maybe. No tiene precio. Priceless. Your words, your compliments for me. It's it's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you for the page, guys. Check that link out. Open that link, the one Michelle posted already. Check it out and put it on your favorites. Put it on your favorites. Yo de also, mi parte les voy a enviar dos enlaces acá a ustedes en el grupo para que puedan entrar, para que puedan practicar el inglés con americanos y personas que están aprendiendo el inglés. Se me da el bien enviárselos a ustedes. Siempre lo envío por si ustedes quieren utilizarlo y practicar un poco más con personas americanas. Si no, pues solo lo olviden. <risa> super, Teacher. super. Thank you. Go ahead. Puedo compartir. Cierto, perdón. Vamos, Go vamos. Ahead. Por cierto, espero que hayan disfrutado el temblor de ayer en la noche. <risa> ok, go ahead. Mejor, mejor en el chat, en el WhatsApp. Please. Richard, solo una última idea. Eh, en español. Ok. Eh, he notado de que los videos de la plataforma son bastante claros. Súper. Pero eh, cuando, usted hace, cuando usted hacía preguntas... Eh, de repente se notaba que los compañeros no habían entendido. Y cuando usted decía, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Nadie preguntaba. El punto es de que una recomendación para los compañeros es de que eh, pregunten, porque si no es aquí, entonces estamos, no sé, siento de que, de que se quedan atrasados, hay temas que no los entienden y en otros módulos los vamos a volver a tocar y... Y si no los entienden aquí, solo se van a ir quedando atrás, atrás. Y siento de que no tengan pena, pregunten, porque si se van quedando atrás, va a llegar un momento donde el curso de inglés va a ser más de lo que ustedes entienden. Y es así como la gente se va quedando atrás, atrás, y ya no continúan en los siguientes módulos, porque dicen, de todas maneras, ya no lo entiendo. Pero es por eso, porque creo que somos penosos y no preguntamos. Esa es nada más un, una apreciación, Ticha que a veces hemos tenido, muchos hemos ido a clases de inglés donde los profesores quizás son diferentes, ¿verdad? Metodología y a veces se han hecho sentir mal, este, eh, el ambiente y todo eso. Lo que tienes, lo que dices, José, tiene mucha validez. Eh, yo lo que les puedo decir, guys, es que ustedes están, no es por nada, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes están en el mejor lugar. No sé si ustedes lo saben, ¿verdad? Pero inglés corporativo está rankeado entre los primeros lugares, por no decir el primer lugar, um, dentro de todos los centros formadores de INSAFOR, de los tipo 25 centros formadores que hay a nivel nacional. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que ustedes están en el mejor lugar, no pueden estar ustedes para recibir la atención. Todos los profesores que estamos con inglés corporativo somos apasionados del idioma. No crean que pues, eh, ser acreditado de INSAFOR es fácil. Eh, los teachers tenemos que pasar por los filtros del TOEIC y el TOEFL. Entonces, no, ustedes no están con cualquier teacher. ¿Qué les quiero decir eso? Um, que se sientan en confianza, que se sientan en confianza. Eso sí, eh, traten de usar lo que ustedes saben, ¿verdad? Y, y si ustedes no entienden un tema, 
preguntémoslo. Si ustedes aún no lo entienden, díganle al teacher, teacher, can we, can you make a, can you make a role play, teacher? Que, que si puedes hacer una, una práctica usando ese tema, eh, as an example, ustedes busquen opciones eh, de, 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 de pedir ayuda, right? Porque todos los que estamos acá, los facilitadores, amamos lo que hacemos. Por eso lo hacemos muy bien, especialmente en inglés corporativo. Entonces, sintamos, eh, eh, siéntanse acuerpados de que ustedes van a encontrar apoyo. A ver, Naomi, go ahead. Sí, teacher, yo solo agradecerle porque me obligó a leer. Me obligó a leer. <risa> teacher, después de, después de la clase, yo me metí a YouTube. El, el, no entendía eso del who, es question, y yo... Doble pregunta, decía yo, ¿y por qué doble pregunta? Y yo dije, no puede ser, usted me obligó a leer, me obligó a escuchar. Y después de la clase, yo me iba al San YouTube a ver el video de la clase, por eso yo le tomaba foto a, los, a uh -huh. las presentaciones, porque yo solo copiaba el título y cuando terminaba la clase, yo me metía al título. Y miren, Naomi, no es por nada, pero yo también sentí como que un, un antes y un después. No sé si eh, hubo un despertar ahí, ¿verdad? Como usted me lo menciona, porque al principio del módulo yo no la sentía, ¿me entiende? Ajá, pero yo ajá. siento que como iban pasando los días, usted sí. fue subiendo su, su participación. Ay, muchas gracias. Sí, es sabe cierto. que yo al mediodía, al mediodía a la hora de almuerzo, yo escucho música traducida eh, de esos subtítulos en inglés y me pongo a cantar y a ver las traducciones. Porque yo dije, no es posible, qué pena que me pregunte y yo me quedo que no sé qué contestar. A mí me daba pena. Y por eso me metí porque usted me obligó. Oh my Muchas goodness. gracias. <risa> Te lo agradezco. Te lo agradezco porque, porque creyó en mí. Muchas gracias. Definitivamente, ahí vamos a estar siempre, Naomi, a la orden. Muchas Guys, gracias. Ya los gracias. pasé, les estoy robando tiempo. Eh, quisiera seguir, pero hasta aquí llegamos, guys. We'll see you later. It's not a goodbye. It's a see you later. I may see you in another level. Good luck. Goodbye. Congratulations. Bye bye. Sure. We will bye. see you in the bye. Bye. I will see you bye. again. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.